Uganda has marked a 32nd Heroes Day at Koro Ceremonial Grounds, Kampala, with the President Yoweri Kaguta Tibuhapura Museven as the chief celebrant. Can we have the event was characterized by laying off reefs on the mausoleums of, of liberation heroes entered at Koro Ceremonial Grounds. <laughs> President Museven tasked the living veterans to remember the sole ambitions of the struggle that has seen Uganda raised to the current level. One of the things we are fighting for is to stop extrajudicial killings, killing people outside the law. And the NRM is very strict on that. Even when mistakes occur, we follow them up. President Museven dared opportunists who want to destabilize Uganda with the violence that this could be a deadly venture. I can tell you, if you have got ears to hear, that nobody can defeat the NRM by force. If you bring force, then you are you are on the you are in the wrong on the wrong arena because we have a lot of capacity to deal with with force the president however expressed an open door policy for the dialogue with the opposition issues are now over so it's better people and me i'm already i have met some even some of the opposition i meet them and we discuss and uh, we advise them. They can also advise us. The only problem are, are, are some who, who don't want to discuss, and they think they will impose their, their views on us, which will not, of course, happen. On the issue of development, Museven urged to the new parliament to support his programs of wealth creation to fix poverty levels. It is being a parasite for you not to engage in production and you come to cause insecurity for those ones who are engaged in production. It's not, it's, not, it's not fair, it's not godly. Everybody should see whether they can contribute or if you can't contribute, at least don't disturb those who are uh, engaged in, in, in production. He criticized the Milo land system, which he said is distracting development and causing unending personal disputes. This is a very bad system, the system which is in Uganda here, this one of Milo and all that, and some people support it, but it's very bad for the people. This is an evil system, it's not a, it's not a fair system. And it is not in other parts of Uganda. Because in other parts of Uganda, when you are, it's, you, you, you are in a chivanja, it is your chivanja. But here, you find these people support this, that, that uh, it's really very bad, not fair. Uganda here, they have got so many actors, this one is saying this, this one is saying that. And it's all against the, 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 the small person. The UN resident coordinator to Uganda, Rosa Malango, hailed Ugandan heroes for their sacrifice that restored sanity in Uganda through promoting peace and justice. It is in this spirit that we recognize the sons and daughters of Uganda who sacrificed their lives and came together, not based on their ethnicity, religion, or gender, but based on their belief of oneness, of being Ugandan. They sacrificed their lives for stability and prosperity of generations to come. We recognize the sacrifice of the citizens for the greater good as an important factor for social cohesion, inclusive development, and sustainable peace. This year, there were no medals awarded, and a limited number of people were invited to attend to avoid the spread of COVID-19. This year's celebrations were under the theme, remembering those great men and women who put nation first in pursuing freedom for our motherland, Uganda. Abdul Nasil Lubwama, EUBC News.